That is a man determined here. Look at the eyes of Pretty Hardcore, the eyes of White Bronco, Channing Decker. Absolutely convinced that he can win the championship here tonight. And he's going strike for strike for one of the best strikers in all of Quebec wrestling in excess. Excess hits hard. Saw his hip. Hit the wood there, and now a chair goes over the back. This isn't going to take very long to turn into a hardcore brawl, I know that. Channing Decker can get it done in between of those four ropes, technical wrestling, high flying, all that. But what he loves doing more than anything in the entire world is just turning this into a straight up hardcore brawl. Excess, of course, himself. For anybody familiar watching the Genesis as his man through years and years on the Quebec scene can take it hardcore as well. He's not afraid of that whatsoever. But I would give the advantage here in terms of just that recent hardcore wrestling, that recent deathmatch type of wrestling to Channing Decker. Decker hitting hard. Excess catching strikes to the face, and usually I give the benefit here and the advantage to Excess nine out of ten times. You're fighting with a man possessed, a man who quite frankly scares me, who loves pain. He seems to thrive on it, and the more and more pain and punishment he takes, the more driven he is in a match. Excess coming in! Oh! Drop kick straight to the face. He's already half bloodied up as well. You're talking to a man here who won the championship at Le Cronement in December in the Rumble. It's his second defense here, and what a defense it is. Tuck on Paul Goliath, won by very dubious means as well, I may add. And now taking on Channing Decker, FML, the Fédération Montérégienne de Lutte here at Unscripted in the beautiful St. Jean sur Richelieu, Quebec. Bring out all the stuff, bring out the top competitors across the world and especially Canada here. I am Dr. Bob, today is March 6, 2020. And put it in your calendars, folks. Tonight might be the night that Channing Decker becomes the new FML champion. Both of the men bloodied, beaten, chairs in use, fish hooks. Now it's coming down to an excess this kind of match. A dirt, down and dirty, rough type of wrestling. Almost a shoot type style, just hook a move and hook a hold anywhere he can. Striking specialist. Catches a hard chair to the face. Decker take on some of the best hardcore wrestlers in all of Canada and taking on some ECW legends as of late. But Excess is a whole different kind of animal. He's a whole different kind of beast here at FML. That man has been a veteran of the Quebec scene, winning in all types of matches in all venues here. Does he have enough? And what it takes to take on the crazy Channing Decker with the Arabian face buster that he learned from his recent matches with that Sabu. Crimson mask just adorning his face, covering him, and that plasma is starting to drip all over the place. Folks, if you're squeamish, please look away. That's a lot of blood coming off the two individuals here. What a show we've had you for you here at Inscription as well. Already! Some of the best and brightest names in Quebec, like the Beast King, FTM, like Green Phantom, like TDT, and even Excess's son, Excess Jr., had a match here earlier as well. Sweeps him down, flatliner into a chair, going for the pin, hooks the leg, pushes down on one shoulder as well, but not enough. It's gonna take a lot more than that to try to finish off the White Bronco. 
my god, and look at that shape, and look at the blood just coming down from these two. Classic excess here. Working away so many different muscle groups just trying to tear away at him. Such a precarious predicament. say like a shark that smelt blood in the water. Excess just carries on and continues with his assault here. He's got to watch out though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're going to see a suplex to the outside perhaps folks. Leg drop. And guillotines across in the second row, but they both collapsed like a heap to the outside. This is what the FML Championship means to both of these two gladiators in the ring. They're going to give every bead of sweat, every drop of blood to either keep this title or to win this title here. For our wonderful folks here at St. Jean sur Richelieu. Fans are loving it. Chairs have come into bl play, blood aplenty, and now here comes the lumber. I've seen Channing Decker jump off the top of trucks, come through balconies. That man has no fear. And if he does have any, it's only to motivate him. It's a lot of waste in here. Access is going to want to do everything he possibly can right now to avoid going through that table. Of course, common sense dictates he doesn't want to be anyone underneath that as well, but he'd rather chuck his opponent straight through it and oh no. I think I've seen enough wrestling to know what they're trying to do here. Going up. Where are they fighting now? The cameramen have lost track of them for a few seconds. I you can even hear our crowd asking where are they upstairs? The lights are shining before anything has even happened. We're hearing those uh, religious excrements, chants from our fans, Shining Decker mugging it for the camera. This is a dangerous, a dangerous place to be at, folks. You can see our champion who, trust you me, deserves every bit of this punishment. But as a sympathetic human being, I don't want to see someone get thrown to a second uh, the floor balcony here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no! The man's slipping. Think about the blood, think about the sweat all over the man's body. The man is going to crash through. He's just an inch away from losing grip, from falling, and he's trying to go for a superplex now. Got his head hooked, grabbing with his, sh with his shoulder, now, now on his shirt. They both managed to be on the second floor here. Folks, I'm terrified for the well-being of both of these wrestlers right now. Excess manages to get to his feet, however. And he just saved his championship. Oh no! Folks! I apologize for your audio, maybe bursting your speakers here at home. But he just jumped over the second 
floor of balcony here, crashing through excess, catching him a leg drop, potentially crushing his sternum and his chin. Right across that table. If there are anywhere closer to that ring, I would say we have a new champion here at the FML. What a display of just merciless violence here from the white Bronco, Channing Decker. In excess, one of the most dangerous men, one of the most dangerous competitors you've ever seen in Quebec wrestling, bar none, is now on the defense. They're allowing a pin to the outside! No DQ, no false count anywhere. Excess has had a few seconds to catch his breath there. I think a pin immediately after that leg drop would have been it. And the fireman's carry, he's just gonna drag him everywhere he wants. This is where Decker's strength and conditioning comes into play. I'm mean, still trying to talk about this as if this is a technical match. A man just went through a balcony here, through a leg drop and a table. Hard to feel sympathetic for excess right now. This man has cheated every step of the way since FML has begun. Every mega event and sold out show we've had. Man is literally spit in the opponent's face and cheat to try to win and conserve his title. Look at the crazy man that is Channing Decker. He's just daring him, begging him to hit him back. The crazed look on both of these men's faces. They're like rabid animals in here. Rebound Larry, no! Down into an STO. The surprising quickness and speed of that move almost got her for excess. Staggering, however, that blood loss and the pain going through his body. Now using a chair to try to knock his opponent unconscious. Merciless shots. Going for it. Tie knees! His double knee drop patented excess. The veteran going back to his tricks. Up oh, his sleep! Almost gets it with that knee drop off the top through two chairs. Somehow, somehow Decker kicks out. with each kick out, with each refusal to die here. Excess is more and more in peril. Well, the man in peril now is a ref. Good night, I think he's done for the night. Yes, sir. And he's going for the legend driver on the chair. Oh! Ref in there, we'd have a new champ right now, a new champion at the FML. Unfortunately for Channing Decker, the ref was in no way able to respond to that, but any other situation there, we would have seen a new champion. There was no way that XS was at this point in the match kicking out of the legend driver. Gonna go for no oh and excess yet again his mo double arm ddt that's it folks disgusting finish kicks out and the fans are in jubilation here excess almost stole another one Excess over the years has faced off against some of the most violent men in all of Canadian wrestling. 
And tonight here, he's gonna have to try to do it again. An exploder off the top. Goes for an elbow in the corner versus Kapo Kick. That rolling Japanese kick, the Kapo Kick, followed up with an air raid, crash through an open chair, destroys it. Breaks apart like it was just some kind of a toy, and now he's going for a cross face assisted with a chair. The sharp part right in excess is thrown. Any normal, average human being has to tap. What can excess do? He's so far away from the ropes! Folks, that's it. There's no way. There's no way he's not going to pass out. And somehow he grabs the ropes. And his momentum drives out Channing Decker. Channing, if he had been a little... I think more well rested at this point, could have let go, could have got his bearings back, but he just got tossed out. Let his fury consume him there. He had that championship within his grasp. Even then, it might be just moments till he can win it again here. Or that he's in a position to win it. Might this second defense for XS be his last here with his championship? What's he going for now? Sunset Bomb perhaps? Looked like perhaps he was going for a Sunset Bomb, maybe a top rope power bomb. That's going for a top rope superplex. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Fans, I'm in shock. 